Hey guys, how's it going? This is the Stupendous Wave, and in this video, we'll be talking about Jurassic World 2, Did the Indominus Rex Lay Eggs? Now, there are spoilers in this video if you have not seen Jurassic World, so go ahead and go watch Jurassic World, and then come back and check out this video. So, real quick, I just want to take a few seconds out to say something. I would like to thank two of my subscribers that have supported me a great deal and I really appreciate it. I'd like to thank Stupendous Rex 65. Thank you so much, man. And Raptor Rex 2917. Both of these people have channels. They will be in the description down below. I think you guys will kind of like the content that they put out. It's really cool and really good. So yeah, go ahead and subscribe to them down below and let's go ahead and get started. So to me at least, the prospect of the Indominus Rex laying eggs is pretty far-fetched. I don't think it happened, but for preparing for this video, I was thinking of several scenarios uh, on why this would happen or why people would want this to happen. Not only the fans, but the people in the park. And I came up with a pretty interesting reason. So like I said, I don't think that this happened. But as for it could work in a story standpoint, I guess uh, that this might work. Again, it's not really confirmed that the Indominus Rex wasn't pregnant at all. Although there's literally zero signs that she was or might lay eggs in the film at all. She killed her sibling. Uh, I don't think that she made it with her sibling like a lot of people are saying. Uh, I, that's very, very unlikely. But what I was thinking is that maybe the Indominus Rex was artificially inseminated. Maybe the people wanted uh, to make her less aggressive because we've seen that two of the main dinosaurs that she's mixed with, a Velociraptor and a T-Rex, they're both very protective of their young. They both care about their young a great deal. We saw in Jurassic Park 3 that the Velociraptors uh, pursued their eggs for a great deal of time and really went through a whole lot of stuff to get back their eggs from the humans and even in the lost world we saw the t-rexes uh, care a great deal for their little uh, for their infant which was very very interesting so what I was thinking is the way to get the Indominus Rex less uh, like crazy and aggressive might be to artificially inseminate her and then when she has babies she has company and it kind of works out like that now when you do that you have a lot more Indominus Rexes on your hands or maybe, I know this sounds cruel, but maybe you could take away all but one of them and they'd still have that instinct because we really don't know how many eggs the Indominus Rex would be capable of laying. I assume more than one. But maybe the people could take away all but one of the eggs and destroy the eggs. I know that's sad, but I think that's probably how they would do it. And then they could have the Indominus Rex and a baby Indominus Rex in the paddock. And I think that might relieve some of the aggression that the Indominus Rex has. That's just kind of a thought that I had, and I thought it was pretty interesting. Also, I know they originally planned to breed two, or they did breed two, excuse me, and the Indominus Rex, the big one, did end up killing her sibling. So I think that the next logical step would be to artificially insem inseminate the Indominus Rex if they didn't want her to be as crazy as she is, stir crazy, and just go insane. So yes, giving her a child might relieve some of that, and also... Maybe the park workers were planning on doing this, or the park runners, or even Henry Wu is the person that I would think would be directly involved with this, or the most involved with this, uh, or involved with it the most, excuse me. So I think that maybe they would open the park initially with the Indominus Rex, and then bring up like a baby Indominus Rex as the brand new attraction that they would uh, possibly have in the park. I think that's very, very interesting. It's just kind of a thought I had, and... I don't know how you guys feel about it. How would you guys feel about the Indominus Rex laying eggs? As far as what would happen if the Indominus Rex did lay eggs, if this theory does come true, I don't think it will. But if it does come true, let's just entertain that thought. I think that this will have to be where the sequel takes place uh, or revolves around. More Indominus Rexes, multiple Indominus Rexes wreaking havoc on Isla Nublar. Maybe you could have it say that... All the dinosaurs on Isla Nublar will be taken out if the Indominus Rex, uh, Indominus Rex's babies aren't destroyed completely and maybe Owen and Claire have to go back to the island because really, those are the two people left alive and maybe Lowry. Those are the, like the three people left alive that know the island better than anyone uh, because they went through a lot of stuff on the island and they ran the island before 
And yeah, I think that would make sense for them to want to go back and try and like take out the rest of the Indominus Rexes so that they don't destroy everything on the island. And I mean, you could have a really, really interesting scene where like a pack of Indominus Rexes, like they might not be fully grown, but they're like maybe Allosaurus size are chasing down a T-Rex or Carnotaurus size are all like pursuing the T-Rex, trying to take out the T-Rex or anything. Uh, I believe that that would create a great scene and the t-rex would try and have to combat multiple indominus rexes as one at once that would be cool i don't think the sequel is going to go that way also you could have that uh done with other dinosaurs you could have a bunch of indominus rex uh kind of like not fully grown ones attacking kylosaurs and uh more apatosaurs i think that would be interesting and pretty cool but Anyway, leave your guys' thoughts in the comments down below. What do you guys think about the Indominus Rex laying eggs? Do you like that prospect? Do you not like it? Real quick, I do have a podcast channel. That link is in the description down below. If you guys want to check that out, I'd really appreciate it. So, yeah, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and have a great day.